Item Number SCP-643 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-643 is to be contained in a cold storage cell located at Site-77 Safe SCP Wing. The ambient temperature of the room that SCP-643 is contained in must never exceed 10 degrees Celsius. Any circumstance resulting in the temperature rising above this threshold is to be treated as a potential containment breach. Description. SCP-643 is a collection of 79 chocolate candies. Individual instances of SCP-643 do not appear to have noticeable aesthetic differences from normal chocolates, and on average weigh between 100 and 160 grams. Instances of SCP-643 have a much lower melting point than ordinary chocolates, and have been observed to melt at temperatures as low as 15 degrees Celsius. If any portion of SCP-643 moves into a liquid state, its anomalous properties will manifest. While it is in a liquid state, SCP-643 will become highly mobile and will move to the nearest edible substance. When a suitable substance is found, SCP-643 will cover as much of its mass as possible. Any substance that is covered with SCP-643 will begin to exude a strong, pleasant aroma. Organisms that consume SCP-643 become instances of SCP-643-1. Instances of SCP-643-1 will possess the same desirability as any edible subjects coated in SCP-643. However, note that instances of SCP-643-1 are not covered by SCP-643, which is digested normally. Any organism that views an instance of SCP-643-1 will attempt to consume it regardless of any previous relation. Organisms who consume portions of a SCP-643-1 instance will describe the experience as highly pleasurable. SCP-643 was recovered from a freezer located in a bakery in Jacksonville, Florida, where police had arrested three employees for cannibalizing their co-workers and several of the bakery's patrons. Agents embedded in the local police department noted that SCP-643 had caused the incident, and recovered 79 instances of SCP-643 from the bakery. Witnesses were administered Class C amnestics, and SCP-643 was classified as safe on 1978. Addendum. Excerpt from Interview 643-A Interviewed D-4312 Interviewer Dr. Forward D-4312 had attempted to consume D-1122 while the latter was under SCP-643's effect. Begin Log And why did you feel compelled to attack her? I couldn't help myself, man. She smells so good, it reminded me of stuff my mom used to make. You didn't think it was wrong to eat another human? I would've, but it felt different. Like, it was okay to eat just a little because it smelled so good, I just wanted a taste. If you just wanted a taste, why did you continue eating D-1122 after she expired? Well, when I had a taste, it was so good, like, all the best stuff, I just wanted more and more and more, and D-1122 continued to repeat this phrase for approximately minutes. End log.